KADAB in Metro Atlanta. This is a video to uh, show my hex beam, five band hex beam on top of a 50 foot telescoping military surplus mast. I installed this system in uh, the first part of 2008, so it's coming up here uh, a few months uh, on about 11 years and it's working extremely well. As you can see, this is the AB1339 slant G. 15 meter military surplus mast. Bought mine from a friend who had gone to a military surplus auction and bought a box or a crate of them. Got it for $245 in uh, 2007. Uh, they rarely show up now on eBay and they're usually $1,000 to $1,500. The bottom of the mast is, uh, has a ball joint that's mounted in this metal base plate. And then uh, I have fabricated an electric winch to help me raise and lower it. it. Takes about 60 seconds to do either one of those. I probably put it up and down 25 to 30 times a year because of severe th weather or we're leaving on a long weekend or a vacation. I uh, got this winch. Uh, it was a 12 volt boat trailer type winch rated at about 10,000 pounds. It was more than enough to handle uh, extending and retracting this mast. Metal channel uh, formed the base plate here, a bracket and a boat keel roller that I will show you more of from a different angle where the cable goes under the roller and up to the mast. And then this bollard. I found on eBay cost more to ship it to me than the bollard cost. Fabricated my own mounting bracket out of a U-shaped metal channel, some stainless steel lag screws, a piece of flat stainless steel bar held in place on the back side of the mast by six stainless steel heat hose clamps. Closer up look at the boat keel roller. You can see the cable is slowly cutting a groove into this hard plastic roller, so I'll probably replace that this year. Winch is powered by 12 volts and Anderson power pole connectors make it real easy to connect and disconnect the cable from the battery. Do that to keep uh, people from fooling around with this thing when we're gone. And this is my own do-it-yourself uh, weather cover made out of a plastic tub I got at uh, Walmart. The 12 volt battery is uh, kept in this battery box. Uh, keeps the weather off of it. Inside is a charge controller and of course a 10 watt solar panel that maintains a battery at all times. I've been very fortunate to acquire two of these masts. The second one is used to uh, extend a three element six meter beam 50 feet into the air. There's an Alliance HD 73 rotor on it and both of these antennas are guided with these polyester lines covered in uh, Dacron. The guy lines are held in position by these friction line grips designed for clothes lines. Uh, I have one set to the midpoint of the mast and another set to the top of the mast just below the rotor. These work extremely well and have so far held up well against the weather. Another view from uh, the deck level of the uh, winch and the base of the mast. Continuing to update my video, uh, there's a line of weather coming through here later tonight. So I'm going to bring the antenna down to deck edge level here. It takes about 60 seconds, so I'm going to do this in segments so that it's not quite so long.
And now you can see that the uh, rotor is pretty much eye level. If I need to work on the antenna, I simply get a kitchen step ladder and all the elements and feed point of the hex beam are accessible right here from the edge of the deck. I keep the rotor wrapped in plastic just to, as an extra measure to keep moisture out of the rotor. And you can see the guy lines and the antennas are all tightened up here a little bit. Makes it much more secure uh, obviously against lightning but also against strong winds. Now the power cable is hooked up from the battery. To the winch. This is probably one of the neatest things I've ever done in ham radio.